Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drax, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. I'm planning evacuation drills, too. Need to start running those. Good idea. I know I'll need a refresher. Just a tip. If you need to evac in deep space, you're probably not coming back. Only if you don't know the drill. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water, or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here, and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot, too? I might. For certain someones. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos... Well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, 
I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Suvi, were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it, so alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean, a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. It's good to have different voices on my team. I like that. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh. Fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, writer. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Maybe you just needed more sleep? We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. 
Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ha! Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Hmm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tan. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. That vault feels like early brain surgery. Just poking and hoping. As long as it helps us to live here, I don't care how the vault's doing it. Magnificently. That's how. Mm. I prefer tech with more exposed bolts. If you can't open it, you don't own it. 